Has it really been eight years since I uploaded my very first video on YouTube? Well, according to YouTube itself, yes. I uploaded my very first video on January 4th, 2012, and today it is January 4th, 2020. It has been eight years, everybody, since I've been on YouTube. Yes, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome, come on in, everybody, because you have arrived at just the most opportune time. As Isaac Kleiner would say in Half-Life 2, you arrived on a red-letter day because I was just about ready to push play on my very first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube, and I kind of wanted to react to it and see maybe what has changed over the years and maybe what has not changed over the years as well. So, I don't know what else to say except thank you everybody for eight years on YouTube and for supporting me throughout many of those years. My goodness. So yeah, I have not watched any of my Wolfenstein 3D videos pretty much ever since they came out. I just never bothered to really re-watch them and... and... yeah. So today we're going to do that. Right here with Episode 1, Mission 1. So I don't know what else to say except let's just jump right in. Welcome to the Wolfenstein... Th ah yes, there it is. Welcome to the Wolfenstein 3D walkthrough on, um... Uh, some difficulty. <laughs> um, I'm Big Mac Davis, and something or another like that. 3D walkthrough on the I Am Death Incarnate difficulty for the I Am PC. Death Incarnate. I'm Jefferson Davis, and this... Oh, yeah! I remember that now. I called myself Jefferson Davis back in my very first walkthrough series, Wolfenstein 3D. I did not do that for any other walkthrough series, though. This is the only one I did it for, and I don't know why. I had already had the Big Mac Davis channel picked out, but... I'm weird, I guess. This is Episode 1, Escape from Wolfenstein, Floor 1. <laughs> Floor 1. Open the door in front of you, and turn to your right. Oh, gosh! Look at door. how the video... <laughs> okay. One thing I do want to point out about this is that I was I was almost desperate to upload videos onto YouTube. Well, I wouldn't say desperate, but I really, really, really wanted to join the bandwagon of other people doing Let's Play videos on YouTube that my equipment that I had back then was so archaic, so old, that even my recording software when recording Wolfenstein 3D on my very old computer was not able to record at a decent frame rate. Okay, that should tell you just how bad my computer was before I got a newer one, which was before I got a newer, newer one, which was before I got this one that I currently have. So I've been through four computers already. This was my very first computer for YouTube, and <clears throat> long story short, I didn't use any recording software. So you may wonder, how in the world did you record this video? I actually hooked up my computer to a DVD recorder device that I, that I own. Well, I, I still own it to this day, by the way, that DVD recorder. I don't know how I was able to do it. My dad helped me hook everything up and stuff like that, so I guess he did the technicalities behind that. but. I then recorded my audio using another application or whatever, and I would combine the two, a DVD video with my audio. Which brings up to this poor quality. I know I'm talking a lot without watching the video, but this is really interesting. Notice the lines. Notice the double image that you see as I'm turning to look the other way. That is called interlacing, and that is prevalent on... DVDs that are not deinterlaced, and I did not deinterlace my videos to fix those problems. So, what you're seeing is an actual DVD image. Kind of cool. To your left, and the second guard to your right. 
After that's done, grab the ammunition and the dinner if you need it. Dinner is a health item. Inside the first <laughs> cell... Is... Yeah, there it is. There it is. Dinner is a health item. I can't tell you how many comments I've gotten so far on this video that have said that they laugh at that part. <laughs> it's a dinner. Inside the second cell, there's nothing in it. And inside the third cell is another dinner. Open up this door and kill off the guard down the hallway, and open up the door at the end of the hallway. There are two guards to your left as you enter this large area, so be careful of that. Once that's done, open up the door with the blue walls around it, and kill the German Shepherd dog. Yeah, speaking of dogs, I don't really know the exact time period in which I started using the term sweetness in reference to dogs and now of course I reference sweetnesses to anything that looks cute or adorable. <laughs> I don't really know how it morphed into that but originally I know I had called the German Shepherd dogs sweetnesses at some point in this walkthrough. How that came about was I actually owned a dog um, for a brief period when I was very very young and we named it sweetness. And it looked very similar to this type of German Shepherd dog. So that's how the term sweetness came about. In front of you. Down this adjacent hallway, kill the two guards. As best you can. Then open up the door here. You can use your knife to kill off the three German Shepherd dogs. Sorry, sweetnesses. I have to kill you. There it is. <laughs> I guess the... Wow. That is so fitting. On my very first video for YouTube, I used the term sweetnesses. That's awesome. You belong to the Nazi party. <laughs> yeah. You belong to the Nazi okay. party. There's some you must food die. Here in this alcove here. Dog food will give you 4% health, and dinners will give you 10% health. There's two guards and another German Shepherd dog. Another. There's a dinner here as well as uh, two more in this room, if you need them. If you need them. Open the door with the eagle walls around it. Kill off this guard. And this one, down the mini hallway. Here's your first secret. It's this eagle portrait, down the mini hallway. Inside is the machine gun. The machine gun. The machine gun is a nice weapon to have. It fires more rapidly than the pistol. Inside this small room is some treasure. Don't mind if I do. Now, yeah, a running gag with this particular walkthrough series that I did for Wolfenstein 3D is the fact that B.J. Blazkowicz can carry a lot of treasure and it kind of I kind of invented the idea that maybe he has a bottomless treasure sack that he carries with him at all times just on the slim chance that maybe he can find some treasure he has a bottomless sack oh down this white hallway there's a couple of guards so make sure to take care of them Go down the hall. Now this room is probably the first tough spot in Wolfenstein 3D. On the I Am Death Incarnate difficulty, there's five in here. Five guards. So take care of them as best you can. Oh, look when at that interlacing. When they're oh, oh, do you see? I mean, look at how blurry the lines are on the left side of the screen. It's just horrible. I don't know how... But you got to remember in 2012, I guess, I had a very tiny monitor... Um, my monitor right now is just enormously big, so I can see all the defects that I did not see or that I really didn't care to see in the original video, but I can definitely see them now. Dead. Grab the treasure on the outskirts. Oh man, and of, frame rate's uh, dropping. This area. Frame rate is dropping. <laughs> the Hitler portrait is your second secret, so press on it to open it up. Inside is more treasure. So put all this treasure into your treasure sack. Well, there it is. <laughs> There's also some ammunition, which will probably boost you up to 99 ammo. Kill off the couple guards in front of you and the guard immediately to your right. Then open up the door in front of you. 
And you want to be careful in this long L-shaped hallway. Oh, by the way, just really quickly, a lot of people early on especially asked me if I did live commentary with my videos or not. And the answer is yes, I did live commentary for every single video that I did. Now, I will say, however, that I know for a fact that there's been a couple of videos, well, more than that, maybe four or five videos, early on, I'd say 2012, 13, 14, that sort of thing, where I actually did insert a little bit of extra audio, a little bit of extra commentary from me, because I either missed something or something else happened where I needed to add just a... I think the longest clip I ever added was like 15, 20 seconds, but apparently no one really seemed to notice, so... <laughs> and no, I don't remember what videos they were. I know... I think most of them were for Doom. Guards can come out of these little alcoves here. The first alcove has a dinner inside. Pull off a couple more guards. And the second alcove has a treasure item and another dinner. Now this room has a med pack. Med packs will give you 25% health. And yes, if you guys have noticed in the Wolfenstein 3D walkthrough, I didn't use the run function. Not that I didn't want to use it, it just would slow down my computer, and uh, the frame rate would drop a little bit, and it would just look even more blurry if I ran, so I didn't run at all. In the entirety of the Wolf 3D walkthrough, I didn't use run one time. Run down the L-shaped hallway to this door, and kill three guards behind it. Now this door right here will take you to the elevator, which will take you to floor two. But we're gonna take the secret exit, which is beyond this secret door. This is secret three. Inside is a med pack. Across from the med pack is your fourth secret. Now there's the secret exit door, but to the left of it is your fifth and final secret of this floor. Inside is an extra life, and extra lives will give you health, ammo, and one extra life. So with that, press the exit switch. <laughs> so we got 100% kills, 100% secrets, and 100% treasure. And for doing so, we rack up a 30,000 point bonus. You can get even more points if you finish in under par, but getting 100% of everything and under par is exceptionally difficult to do, so I will not try for that. <laughs> now this map is really easy. It's small, it's straightforward, and there's not a whole lot of side areas, which means you can't get lost very easily. It's very straightforward. The first secret is probably the most vital secret of the map, or of the floor. Yeah, probably. It has the machine gun. Probably, machine Big gun Mac Davis, you are probably right. Especially, you know, in later levels, when you need the rapid-fire ability of that gun. But this map, um, the second secret has a lot of ammo in it, so if you want to get two secrets, go for those two. And then, of course, the final three secrets, or at least the final two, will take you to the secret level, which is floor 10. That's right, in each episode, floor 10 is actually the secret level. So, in the next video, we will go, we will jump to floor 10. I'm Jefferson Davis, and I will see you <laughs> in the next video. Take care, everybody. Oh, take care, everybody has been a staple as well in all of this. Yeah, I got a lot of recommended videos that I have yet to get to watching. Um, but yeah, wow. Um, I thought it was going to be worse than I... The visuals are actually worse than the audio, I have to say. Um, well, yes, my audio, my commentary, could definitely need... could use a lot of work. Um, it was my very first video, and I needed a lot of practice. I needed a lot of uh, just experimentation, finding out what sounds good and what does not sound good, but... You know, overall, I don't think much has changed in the terms of the presentation of the walkthroughs. Um, I try and be funny when I can. When, when humor presents itself, I always have to 
try and be funny. That's just how, that's just who I am personally as a person. Yes, personally as a person. I am a personably funny person. <laughs> wow. So it has been eight years since my very first video. Things have gotten a lot better since then, uh, visually, audio, and my personal life as well has gotten a lot better over the years. And so I love being able to upload these type of videos, these walkthroughs, and I will continue doing so for another eight years and even beyond there. You know, if I am capable of doing so, I will certainly do that. Thank you everybody for watching this video, this revisit video. It was very fun and I hope that you have a good day and I hope to see you around for the next eight years as I continue to upload more videos and hopefully along the way get better and better at doing walkthrough videos. So until the next video, whatever video that will be for my YouTube upload schedule. I shall see you guys next time. So take care everybody and thank you for coming down memory lane with me today revisiting my very first video on YouTube. Take care everybody. <laughs>